Hi, my name is Matthias Allred. Thanks for joining us on class today. Hey, today we're going to be talking about the VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan, or the VA EARL. Hey, a lot of people call these a VA Streamline Refinance because it's a very simplified version of refinancing your loan. Now, this is also very similar to the FHA Streamline. It's a light documentation loan, and it's designed to be a very simple, hassle-free way to lower your interest rate without going through the entire refinance process. Okay, VA has put this together. It's a great program. And so if you qualify, it's definitely a great way to save some money. Now, the criteria on this are going to be very simple and very easy. In fact, if you've purchased a home recently or gone through a refinance process e uh, recently, you're going to look at this and say, wow, this is an easy loan program. I definitely want to take advantage of it. So let's jump into the qualifications. We're going to talk about some standards on VA loans. And then we're going to go through the details of transactions on these VA EARLs and show you how the process works and how you're going to save money by lowering your interest rate. Okay, the qualifications for a VA EARL or a VA Streamline are very easy. Okay, first you actually have to own the house. Okay, this has to be your home on, and your loan that we're doing. You have to be current on your payments for the last 12 months. Okay, we're going to have to verify that you do have a job. And like I said, this is a light documentation loan. We're not going to verify full income documentation. We're just going to verify that you do have a job. Okay, we do need to have a 620 credit score. And if you're bringing money to closing, we have to verify those assets. Now, I'll tell you, a lot of times people choose not to bring that money to closing so that they can keep that in their pocket. And we'll show you how that's going to work here at the end of, the, of the, the video here. So, very simple, easy transaction right here. The qualifications, like I say, are super easy. And I guess what I should say is that this is for uh, VA loans right now. You do have to have a current VA loan to take part in this, uh, this refinance program. If you don't have a VA loan, say you've got an FHA or a conventional or a USDA loan or something like that, there are other programs available, so get in touch with us and we'll help you learn more about those. Okay, but for this, you have to have a VA loan. Okay, now the best part about these loans, like I say, it's a light documentation loan, and this is the biggest benefit for most people, is the appraisal. Okay, with these loans, there is no appraisal requirement at all. Okay, so if you meet the criteria, we don't have to do an appraisal. Now, I will tell you, to get the no appraisal requirement, we do have to have a 660 credit score. Okay, with that 660, no, no appraisal required at all. If you're between the 620 and the 660, we do have to order a drive-by appraisal. It's a lighter version of a full appraisal. They don't do interior pictures or interior inspections, just a drive-by. Okay, but for most people, you're going to qualify for the appraisal waiver. And that's huge, especially in today's market where you've seen a lot of house values tank. Uh, that's one thing that you absolutely don't have to worry about. And that's what makes this such a great program. Okay, the second thing is the income docs. Okay, we mentioned that a little bit. Uh, we do have to verify that you have a job, but we don't have to verify your income itself, meaning we don't have to collect pay stubs, W-2s, tax returns, or anything like that. So as long as you have a job, it doesn't even have to be the same job you had when you got the house, but as long as you have a job, you meet the rest of this criteria, you're making your payments on time, you are qualified. We don't have to verify your income. We don't have to verify your appraisal. So it's a great program, light documentation. Like I said, it makes it very easy to do. Okay, so let's jump into a couple of things that are required on all VA loans real quick. Okay, with a VA loan, VA has set some guidelines, and there's three things that we need to be aware of. First is the VA funding fee. You may be familiar with this. This is the fee that VA charges on all loans that they do. Now, they have a factor for calculating that funding fee, and it's different for a purchase or for a refinance or for a VA EARL. Uh, that funding fee uh, factor will change. And it also depends on how many times you've used that. So if you're on your first house, let's just give an example. On a purchase transaction, first time use, you're going to pay 2.15%. Okay, and again, that is subject to change. They do change somewhat. Uh, so if that's not current when you're watching this video, just know that it's current when we shot the video. Uh, this can change, but currently it's 2.15. So in our example, if you're buying a $200,000 house, and you paid the funding fee, it's $4,300, your loan amount is going to be $204,300. They just tack that funding fee on there. That's the amount that you have to pay back when you pay back your loan. Okay, so, but for a VA EARL, they understand that you already have a VA loan. You already paid that funding fee. They're not going to charge that again. They're going to pay a reduced factor of 0.5%. Okay, so just half a percent. So in this example, it would only be $1,000 instead of the $4,300. Okay, so you're saving quite a bit by doing the VA EARL. You don't have to pay that whole funding fee. Okay, second thing that VA is going to require, or that they, they have as the benefit to you, is no monthly mortgage insurance. 
and that's one of the huge strong points of VA is that they never charge that monthly mortgage insurance, as opposed to FHA, whose monthly mortgage insurance keeps changing. In fact, uh, as we're shooting this video, uh, FHA is increasing their mortgage insurance again. So that's just a huge benefit to you as a VA, uh, as a member with a VA loan. You don't have to pay that mortgage insurance, and the same holds true for the VA Earl. There's no monthly fee right there. And then the third thing is a requirement, and the VA is going to require an escrow account for that loan. Now, a lot of people ask what an escrow account is. I'll show you that in just a minute. But it's part of your monthly payment. Okay. So three things about VA loans, and that's all VA loans. It holds true for the VA Earl or VA Streamline as well. Okay. So let's jump into this, and I'll show you where this escrow account takes place. On your monthly payment, your total monthly, monthly payment includes PITI. Okay, principal, interest, your taxes, and your insurance. Okay, and remember we just said you don't have monthly mortgage insurance, and so this insurance is just referring to your homeowner's insurance or your hazard insurance, okay? So let's put an example on the board. If you've got a total principal and interest payment of, what did we say, $785 as your total principal and interest payment, Okay, you've got your property taxes, say they're $110 a month. Your insurance is $45 a month. You're going to be looking at a total of $940 as your total monthly payment. Okay? Now, as you look at this, keep in mind that your taxes are set by the county recorder. That's not set by your lender. Okay? Your insurance is set by your insurance carrier and the premiums that they charge you. That's not set by the lender. And so the only other factors that can affect your total payment is your principal and interest. Okay, so unless you've got a huge chunk of money to pay down the principal balance, the best way to lower your monthly payment is by lowering your interest rate. And that's what this whole VA Earl is about. Okay, so we want to get you a lower interest rate. It's going to give you a lower payment right here. And that's going to affect your total monthly payment and, and lower that and definitely save you some money every single month. Okay, now when we talked about your escrow account, we're talking about your taxes and your insurance. Okay, what that is, the, the escrow account is your money that's being set aside in a special escrow account. So each month as you make your payments, this money is being set aside and deposited into this escrow account. You can look on your monthly mortgage statement or look online and you can see what's in your escrow balance. Okay, so each month as you make that payment, the, loan, or the escrow balance increases. Okay, that way in November, when your taxes are due, they end up enough money in the escrow account to pay your, your county taxes. When your insurance premiums are due, there's enough money set aside in this escrow account to pay your insurance premiums. Okay, so what they typically do is they'll set two to three months in reserves uh, in your escrow account when you when you got your loan, and then each month, like I say, as you make those payments, this escrow account goes up so that that money's always there uh, set aside to pay those payments for you. Okay, and that's always required on all VA loans. Okay, so that's where that comes from. So there's a few things about VA loans just in general and about the VA Earl or Streamline Refinance Program. Uh, and something about your payment. Let's jump into the actual transaction itself and show you the nuts and bolts on how that's going to work and especially how this escrow account works. We need a lot of questions on that. Alright, so let's talk about this real quick. When we set up your new loan over here, we're going to have a lot lower interest rate, okay? We're going to have a lower interest rate on this new loan. But let's show you what affects that new loan. Okay, we're going to take your old loan right here and we're going to order what's called a payoff. And on that payoff, they're going to send us the principal balance, any interest that's due, and any fees that the bank is charging you. If you sometimes they have a payoff fee or a fax fee or anything like that. But this is what's come, what comes off of your payoff. Okay, so we take for your new loan, we take your payoff, plus any closing costs. And we'll go over those in just a second. Because this is a light documentation loan, you're going to see that your closing costs are a lot less than they would be on a normal transaction. Okay, plus we're going to set up this new escrow account, and plus your VA funding fee that we talked about. And remember, this is just a 0.5 instead of the 1.25. So you're saving a lot of money on here. But this is how we come up with your total new loan amount. And obviously we want to get a lower interest rate for you so that you can save money every month. Okay, so let's talk about, this is where your payoff comes from, let's talk about the closing costs real quick. On a typical purchase transaction, or on a typical refinance transaction, you're going to pay a lot in closing costs because the lender, we have to go through a lot of verification processes. Okay, so you're going to have your lender fees, 
You're going to have title fees. You're going to have an appraisal. Okay? And then the escrow account, obviously, we're going to talk about that separate. But on a purchase transaction, or on a typical refinance transaction, where we have to verify income, verify everything else, you're going to have more fees. So typically, you would have a 1%. Plus, in our case, we charge $1,320 for underwriting, processing, and everything else. So if you were buying a $200,000 home, your 1% would be $2,000. And plus, your underwriting and processing, everything else. You'd be at $3,320 just on lender fees. Okay, plus your title fees, plus an appraisal fee. And that's like, like I say, most people pay $4,500 to, to $6,000 in fees just to close on a purchase transaction. Well, like I say, on a VA Earl or interest rate reduction refinance loan, that's not going to be the case. Okay, instead of charging all of this right here, we're actually only going to charge a $600 processing fee. That's because everything else is super easy on our end. Okay, so for your total closing cost, you're going to have $600. Plus, you're still going to have your title fees because we're doing a new loan and there's new title insurance required. But you're also not going to have an appraisal fee. Okay, so you're already saving thousands of dollars on closing costs by going through this Earl transaction as opposed to a regular refinance. Okay, so you can see you're saving a lot of money. Okay, so we've got your payoff. We've got your reduced amount for your closing costs. Let's talk about this escrow account. This is the biggest part where a lot of people get confused on the transaction. Okay, remember the escrow account is your money that's being set aside and held to pay for your taxes and your insurance. Okay, so let's look at your old loan. On your old loan, you had your PITI, right? Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. These taxes and insurance, we'll write this over here, are being deposited every month into your escrow account, and this balance is going up every single month to pay for your taxes and insurance. Okay, with your new loan, we have to set up a new escrow account. Okay, so let's call this your new loan. Your new loan, you're going to have the same thing. You have principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. This taxes and insurance are going to be your new escrow account that we have to set up. Okay, so at closing, we're going to collect two to three months of taxes, uh, plus we're going to collect enough months of taxes to make sure your taxes and uh, uh, enough months of escrow to make sure your taxes and insurance are paid when they're due. Okay, so this is where it gets confusing. Depending on the time of year that we close, we'll determine how much we have to set up. And here's what I mean. Your uh, county taxes are due in November. So if we closed on your VA Earl in December, we would only have to collect this two or three month buffer plus maybe one month because we're closing in December. Remember, your taxes were just paid, so we don't have to collect a lot of money. Now, if we were closing in, uh, say, September, and your taxes haven't been paid, we would be collecting the two or three month buffer plus something like 10 or 11 months of taxes. Okay, so we'd be collecting a lot more up front to make sure that there's money set aside to pay your taxes and your insurance when they become due. And like I say, this is an I. Uh, the same goes for your insurance. We'll find out when your insurance premiums are due, when they renew, and we'll collect enough money to set aside to make sure that we pay those that insurance premium when it becomes due. Now, so depending on the time of year, these numbers are going to change quite a bit. You understand that, right? Now, also keep in mind, if we're collecting 10 months of taxes plus two or three, so let's say we're collecting a total of 13 months of taxes for your escrow account, that's a lot of money to come up with. It's going to be wrapped into your new loan. But keep in mind, the more that we collect on your new loan means the more that has already been deposited in your old escrow account. And this is your money. Okay, so we're going to collect more for up here, but this money that's setting aside right here, that's going to be refunded back to you. So two to three weeks after we close on your loan, you're going to get a check in the mail with all of this money in it, and that's your money. You can do with it what you want. You can take your spouse out on a hot date. You can invest it. You can take your family on a vacation. Uh, a lot of people just put in the savings, or they pay down on their, their loan amount right there. The point is it's your money, and you get to do with it what you want. Okay. So this is where the escrow account, a lot of people get confused on that and say, why are you collecting so much? Well... We're leaving the old escrow account there. That's your money. You can do with it what you want when you get that money back. But we have to make sure we're collecting enough on the new escrow account to make sure everything gets paid properly. Okay? Real simple like that. Now, here's something else that's really cool that a lot of people like is the skipping a payment feature. Okay? With this transaction, you can actually skip up to two months of payments. And let me show you how that works. Okay? On mortgages... You always
always pay your mortgage interest in arrears. What that means, if you have, say, May, June, July, and August, okay? If we closed your loan in May, we're going to close right here, you would actually skip June's payment, uh, and you make your first payment in July. Okay, so you're going to skip one month's payment no matter what, and your payment's going to be made in the next month. Now, if, for example, we closed on May 2nd, and you haven't made your payment already, you would actually skip May's payment, because that's going to happen when we close your loan. You would skip June, and your first payment would be due in July. Now, the one thing I want to be clear on is that it's not free money. You owe that money to somebody. You're going to pay that interest somewhere. And so, if you haven't made your May's payment in this example, the payoff that we order is going to have a higher interest balance right there. Okay, so remember when we order your payoff, you've got your principal, you've got any interest, and then any fees with that. So if you're skipping more than one month's payment, you're going to have a higher interest amount right there, and that's going to be rolled into your new loan. So just keep in mind on that, there's no such thing as free money when it comes to mortgages. But you are going to skip between one and two months' payments. Okay, that's another huge benefit right there. That's kind of the whole nuts and bolts of the VA transaction. It's a great loan program, like I said. It's very hassle-free and it's very easy. We'd love to help you out with that. If you want to get started on this, just fill out the form on this page or contact our office. We'd be more than happy to help out. Like I say, it takes about 10 minutes is all over the phone to get started, and we can generally wrap these up in about between 7 and 14 days. So we want to make sure that it's a very hassle-free and simple program for you. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this. If you do have any questions about the VA EARL, VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan, the VA Streamline, we call it, please give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you out with that. And if you have any questions about any of the loan programs, definitely get in touch with us, too. I appreciate you guys stopping by, and we'll talk to you soon.